Hi guys, Michelle Walsh here. Um, thank you for joining me. I'm here today to talk to you about my greatest passion, hourglass time. Do you ever feel like you're sleepwalking through your parenting journey? I know I did. I was working um, as a corporate employee for an organisation that ran childcare centres. Um, my background is early childhood teaching and, and managing early childhood settings. And I was leading and managing 88 centres. Everything was go, go, go. I had upwards of 300 emails a day, you know, billion voicemails. It was just crazy, really, really busy. And I traveled interstate. I managed two different states and our support office was in a different state from that. So I was traveling all the time. Now, at the time, I had two young children as well. And I was away from them all the time. But even when I was with them, I wasn't really with them. Um, I guess if you think about it, you know, you don't have to be there to be there. And you also don't have to be absent to be absent. So sometimes when I was away, um, I would have some really beautiful conversations with them over the phone and that made it quite special time. But other times when I was here and I was working at home um, or, you know, off, off for the day and then come home at night, um, you know, they're in the bath and I am checking emails. I'm answering phone calls. I'm talking to my team. I'm guiding everyone and taking care of everyone else except for, well, myself and also my children. I had this experience which... Um, wasn't overly great, but I started getting really tired. I started getting really exhausted. And um, one day I was standing up at my uh, like stand up computer desk and I was delivering a training to 150 people on the other side of my computer. So it was a webinar and I, I woke up. So I had that moment, you know, when you fall as just as you're falling asleep and that sort of pulls you back out. Well, that happened. And I thought, was I asleep? What what just happened? Yeah, I was. And I had been seeing a number of specialists anyway because everything was just taking a toll on me, but we couldn't really work out what was what was wrong. Um, and I was forgetting times and dates and meetings and I was just exhausted. And I went and uh, saw this doctor and she said, we better do a sleep study. Because I said I'd also been falling asleep driving, you know, at the traffic lights. I'm going, oh, thank goodness I've got time to have a little sleep. And so I went off and did a sleep study and I was actually diagnosed, this is in 2017, with narcolepsy. Now, I didn't really know narcolepsy was a, I didn't know anything about it, basically. And um, it was pretty tough. To be honest, it was it was a big shock to the system knowing that I now had been diagnosed by the doctors uh, having a neurological disorder. You know, what did this mean? I had to take medication. Um, the medication is pretty intense. And so I started to just rethink things, I guess. I started to um, look into alternatives, which is it's pretty normal. I grew up in a hippie village in New South Wales, so... Um, for me, alternative medicines were always an option, were always a, a bit of a go-to, and I wanted to explore different things. So I actually went and saw a hypnotist, which was fabulous, and I also started seeing an acupuncturist. And she took me on a guided meditation, and I saw an hourglass and, and a moving van. I'm still working on what that means. We haven't moved for uh, 10 years, but um, we might, who knows. Um, and... The hourglass, though, just sat with me. And over the coming weeks, I started to see hourglasses everywhere. We're at the shops and, and my children asked me for an hourglass. And I, I'm in, in the elevator and, and I started noticing on the um, on the buttons the, the hourglass. And I started to think, imagine if all of our time that we lived on hourglass time so we were aware and present in every drop of sand through the hourglass. What would that feel like and, and be like? And so I started to live like that. I started to take notice of where I was, who I was with. Um, I started to take, uh, I guess, make changes with the children. So at bath time, I put my phone up in the bedroom. That's it. Sorry, um, I'm with my boys now. And... 
I noticed a huge shift in everything for me from health, well-being. And so I just continue to explore that. And it's become, I've been living on hourglass time now for a couple of years and a lot of friends of mine have sort of taken on that approach. And it's really changed what we do. We live at a child's pace now and it's it's quite special. So I'm wanting to share that with the world. I'm looking for you to um, join me with that. Uh, share in the comments below how you live on hourglass time. What are the things that you do to create special moments? What are the things that you do to slow down time in today's society? Um, and I guess making your children's life better. What do you do to make sure that those times you have with your children are memory making and that you feel like you've had valuable time. So it's not necessarily about the quantity of time, it's more about the quality. And I'm really interested to um, hear what you do and see if Hourglass is a good fit for you. And I look forward to working with you moving forward and sharing Hourglass time with you.